Hi everyone, I am Hera Khan and I have prepared Azure and Artificial Intelligence course exclusively for ITtoolsTraining.com. So in this particular course, we are going to cover broadly fundamentals of artificial intelligence. So we'll understand what AI is basically on the fundamental principles. Then we'll move on to understand how Azure provides us with services to help us uh, cater and use artificial intelligence in our day-to-day -day cloud life and then finally we'll see a demo on the Azure portal. So first thing that we are going to discuss is fundamentals of AI and let's start with what is AI. So when a human attempts to solve a problem or make a decision, the human brain searches through stored information to reference relevant memories that provide input into the problem solving or decision making process. This concept is known as the cybernetic loop, which is the primary inspiration behind artificial intelligence. So AI is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, which can perform tasks that require intelligence when performed by humans. AI also refers to the field of study whereby computers emulate the functionality of human brain and are able to learn without being explicitly programmed. So specifically, artificial intelligence relies on a library of algorithms and sophisticated technology to automatically learn from data to identify rules, patterns, commonalities and formulate predictions. It can help uh, classify and extract data. It can provide input to decision making or autonomously making make decisions. It also helps to improve decision making by learning from the outcomes of the past decisions. At the heart of AI is its core ability for the system to learn. This is accomplished by the use of programs, which is referred to as the algorithm, which help shape the logic behind different AI approaches to train the AI solutions, which are then referred to as what? Models. Once an analyst identifies a problem to solve, a model is chosen along with an algorithm and any associated configuration decisions. The algorithm is used to expose the model to historical data relevant to the problem. Iterations of this exposure enable the model to learn about the nature of the data, thereby optimizing it in support of providing solutions to the problem. So basically, as you can see in this particular diagram, the core of AI is its ability to learn, just like human brain, AI systems are trained to learn by use of algorithms which creates logic which are known as models. So once a model has been sufficiently trained, it can be deployed and used to solve problems with new data as its input. With AI systems, there is an opportunity for the system to repeatedly reference and reassess previously input data in order to learn from previous outcomes so that it can improve future outcomes. There are multiple business problem types that AI basically uh, is used for. So we'll talk about the five primary types of business problems for which AI systems are used. The first one is a complex analysis. What is it? So applying complex information processing to large diverse data sets in order to gain deep business insights. Then you have graphical recognition, which is recognizing handwriting, faces and objects in images and tracking recognized objects in motion video. Then you have language and sentiment analysis, which is recognizing, interpreting and responding in human language, including sentiment and emotional content. Then you have predictions and forecasting, which is predicting outcomes and behaviors based on past patterns and new considerations. And finally, you have autonomous decision making, which is delegating various types of decision making 
to a system so that it can respond to events and execute functions autonomously. There are multiple business drivers for AI, which is basically, why do we need AI? You need AI for improved decision making, need to delegate decision making, need for adaptivity, need to predict and adapt to, for example, malicious behaviors. These are some of the business drivers that are used for uh, using basically artificial uh, intelligence. Then, apart from business drivers, you have technology drivers as well. So basically, in this section, we are going to cover the key technology drivers that have helped shape contemporary artificial intelligence. The first one is artificial neural network. So artificial neural network are sophisticated computing systems which are based on how the human brain functions and processes information. They are comp comprised of collections of interconnected components which are called as neurons that can perform different functions for analyzing input data and producing output data used to perform predictions and automate decisions. The incorporation of artificial neural network led contemporary artificial intelligence to achieve a degree of accuracy and effectiveness when carrying out tasks such as predictive analysis, speech recognition, image recognition and autonomous decision making capabilities such as what we see in robots. The second technology driver that we'll talk about is high performance and inexpensive infrastructure. So contemporary artificial intelligence systems can perform highly complex information processing that requires the storage and often continuous runtime processing of large volumes of data. Many organizations can utilize such systems due to the affordability of the necessary infrastructure. The availability of necessary storage and compute resources via cloud platforms based on paper use agreements make the necessary infrastructure even more accessible for organizations. Then you have the next technology driver which is the diverse algorithm. So AI and deep learning have been evolving for decades. As a result, a large range of algorithms and practices have been developed and further refined over time. These can now be leveraged with modern infrastructure to carry out highly advanced information processing tasks. Several of the algorithms and practices relevant in AI are also used by and were developed through the evolution of machine learning. And then finally, you have massive data sets. So large data sets are where AI algorithms really learn by refining hypotheses iteratively from real-time information discovery to the integration of algorithms. More tools for working with data are enabling analysis of an increasing number of publicly available data sets. So these are the major technology drivers of uh, artificial intelligence. So you have artificial neural networks, you have diverse algorithms, massive data sets, and you have high performance and inexpensive uh, infrastructure. Now there are various benefits of artificial intelligence. Like for example, you can do informed, accurate and responsive decision making. You can do responsive business solutions, self-learning and adaptive solutions, autonomous solutions, automated uh, management, emulating human behavior, identifying and responding to malicious behavior as well. So I'll just talk about a little bit about autonomous solutions. So AI systems, so all of us are very, uh, all of us are aware about Tesla and uh, how uh, the companies, uh, especially, especially the uh, 
especially the uh, tesla like companies autonomous car companies which are increasingly using autonomous vehicles using artificial intelligence are building systems which can use ai and which can create autonomous solutions is an extensive uh, use case of ai so ai systems can be used to install autonomous logic within solutions such as those used by autonomous vehicles this enables such solutions to make decisions independently and take immediate corrective actions when necessary so ai systems can further utilize what predictive logic to direct autonomous solution in support of predefined objectives so there are multiple multiple uh, use cases which are available all across the world when it comes to uh uh use cases of uh, artificial intelligence and one such use case we all know is an autonomous car and we have been uh witnessing it all across the world especially uh for companies like uh, tesla moving on we will now uh discuss the ai system types so artificial intelligence practices and technologies have been evolving for over half a century this has also led to the emergence of different variations of ai implementations and conceptualizations the first one is a narrow artificial intelligence so narrow ai is based on fundamental approaches similar to machine learning practices whereby data can be analyzed and results can be produced narrow ai relies on the use of machine learning and neural networks and can produce systems intelligent enough to make decisions on their own for small tasks such as determining if the customer is happy or upset based on their feedback so narrow ai is where ai has had the most success today by focusing model building on specific problems with specific data sets to build a model to deliver a decision from a business process perspective narrow ai focuses on automating one task in the overall process then you have the general artificial intelligence so general ai represents advanced ai systems that are capable of making highly intelligent decisions similar to what humans can do no ai system has been emerged yet to fully learn and respond like a human however some systems have been built in this category which are substantially more than just narrow ai then you have the reactive machines so reactive machine is a form of ai that makes decision based on heuristics this type of ai does not use past memory data for decision making so basically any it 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 makes actions it takes decisions based on reactions and then you have limited memory so limited memory artificial intelligence represents systems that can make decisions based on a limited quantity of past data and that can use this data to make predictions then you have the theory of mind theory of mind ai aims to establish systems with feelings meaning that it's such systems are capable of understanding social cues and human emotions to further interact with humans more realistically then you have the self awareness ai also known as the super intelligent artificial intelligence or super awareness ai which is currently in a state of research and has so far only been conceptualized so it is just a concept right now so the types of ai most relevant to the topics and capabilities will be your narrow artificial intelligence which is using neural networks for learning and general artificial intelligence which is using deep neural networks for deep learning now we'll move on to part 2 wherein we will discuss fundamental terms and concepts of artificial intelligence